Hey guys, Bob Brenneman here. I am a realtor on Daniel Island, and today uh, we're continuing on with our series called Just Sold, and I'm gonna take you through a house that, uh, ironically, I just sold here in Smythe Lake Park uh, that overlooks Smythe Lake, which is behind me, and I hope you enjoy the tour. All right, y'all, so we are on Pierce Street, and this house is in uh, Smythe Lake Park, like I'd mentioned at the beginning. And I think of all the streets on Daniel Island, I've sold houses, I think this is this street on Pierce, I've sold more houses on this street than any street, probably any street in my real estate career. So, kind of neat to get to sell another one. And my sons are with me today, so if they're, you see kids in this video, that is them. They're told to stay out of the way, so we'll see. So you come in, you know, you have the nice double doors as you enter. To one side, you've got uh, an office with the French doors. And you can see uh, oak hardwood floors, some built-ins. And the people, I believe, that sold this house are staying on Daniel Island. They're just moving over to the Daniel Island Park side. And then across from the office, you've got you've got dining room, and really pretty, uh, you know, I think more French doors, some nice wainscoting. And then through there, we'll go to in a second. But that's that's the butler's pantry. And then continuing on in, you've got the main living room, a little place for back around here that you can uh, hang coats, not that you need coats on Daniel Island. And then more of this, you know, just continuation of more molding, uh, board on batten is what you see what I'm shooting right now. So that's a really inexpensive way to do things as far as uh, adding some detail to a room, board on batten. And then you've got the coffered ceilings, which, you know, are always very popular. Some good built-ins, I think, in this house. Fireplace that is gas. And then, you know, off the back, you've got uh, Smythe Lake Park. And we'll get it out there in just a minute, probably towards the end of the video. I think we'll do that. But then you can see the kitchen, you know, nice um, eating area around the bar. Gas cooktop, subway tile in the back. Subway tile, obviously, is always a, you know, to me, it's a timeless look. And then this goes right back into that's that's a pantry, and then your your butler's pantry sink. And then this pandas get a look at this too. In this room, you know, I always worry when I shoot these videos. I wouldn't say worry, but you know, think about the fact that uh, sometimes it, it doesn't scale as well as it it uh, probably would if you were here in person, of course. But uh, at least this gives you an idea. And then you know, more built-ins. I mean, this this house. I think they got a really good deal on this house. Uh, it wasn't on the market that terribly long. And it just worked out for us. We had it offered, made an offer another house down the street. Um, but this one made way more sense, I think, for lots of reasons. And then, you know, nice to have a bedroom downstairs uh, for guests. And then, you, you know, shower, bathroom. Uh, again, you can see out through the windows, out to uh, Smythe Park. And a really nice backyard. This is a beautiful, beautiful spot. Again, Daniel Island is one of my favorite places around here. Um, I think it has tons of upside. All right, so let's do this though. Before I, I'm gonna take y'all upstairs. Let's go upstairs first. Uh, but shooting down there, you see you got a powder bath and I showed y'all the little built-in. So now we're gonna go upstairs. Um, my sons did not get all the lights on, there we go. So oak hardwood's going up, more of this board on batten. Again, like I said, really inexpensive way to add some detail to your walls. I mean, I guess I would say the only thing about, that's bad about Mortal Batten is the fact that it's, uh, you know, limits some of your picture hanging. All right, so we get up to the top of the stairs or to the middle part of the stairs, you can see we've got a little threshold to go up and then into this room uh, over the garage. This is a really big room, some kind of cool fans. I really like what whoever picked all this stuff out of originally did a great job hardwood floors continuing on and I'm told behind a uh, chalkboard is uh, some space where you could potentially add more uh, room to this room uh, apparently there's just some unfinished attic space and you got these little built-ins the tile more subway tile shower and shooting back this way built-in fridge 
come show you. That's that's out to the street. All right, let's go to the rest of the house. So master bedroom. And this is big, it's got double doors. I don't know if you can see, but we'll just pan back. And then views on out to the lake. Let's do that first. So, a little sleeping porch. And then I'm gonna walk y'all out on the back porch downstairs in, in a minute as we wrap the video up in just a bit. But I'll show you the setup you have out here, a hammock. You know, just a nice space. Kind of cool looking nautical light fixtures. And more detail in the ceiling. So, I mean, the, the finish level in this house, really good. And some of the furniture was left. If you're wondering about the furniture, the furniture, some of the furniture was uh, was part of the sale and uh, it's, it's being left behind. So, and then just giant shower, the rain shower, and then probably not showing how exactly big it is, but it's giant. And then behind, you know, you've got a door that goes into uh, built in. Lots of built-ins. Water closet. You know, kind of cool light fixture. And then across the hall from the master, you've got kids' bedrooms. I think this is a Jack and Jill setup. Again, it's a lot of the furniture conveyed. And then into the bathroom, you know, subway tile, a little bit larger subway tile. And a shaker style finished on the cabinets. And then into the other bedroom. And good, you know, lots of natural light. And then back out to the hallway there. And then laundry facility at the end of the hall. All right, so I'm gonna take y'all downstairs. We'll do the uh, back porch and we'll, then we'll wrap this up. Right, take y'all outside real quick. And so, I mean, this is another great selling feature of this house is the outdoor kitchen setup. I mean, just, Honestly, for the price point, they got a really good deal on this house. And the people who owned it, you know, did a good job of, I think, originally picking this out. I think they were the original owners of the house, the people that sold it to my clients. But, you know, just uh, big plus. I would love to have this at my house. And then, you know, screen porch. More bench seating. It's kind of a really a fun look to this house. And let's just grab a little bit of, whoops. Let me get this open. Let's grab a little bit of the yard and we'll put a, put a fork in this. Fire pit. And then I think the thing is really cool is they, uh, the, the, the former owners had uh, daughters that are probably in their teens now and that was their little playhouse and my clients have children so they're gonna get to use that which I think is cool to get it, reuse it again. But I kind of show you and then, you know, neighbor's houses. Really pretty. All right, y'all, that is a wrap. Uh, if you want to talk to me about real estate, if you want to talk to me about listing at your house here in Daniel Island, or if you want to talk to me about buying a house on Daniel Island or anywhere in Charleston for that matter, you can call me, Bob Brenneman, at 843-345-6074. And you can check out our website devoted to Daniel Island, which is danielislandproperty.com. And if you like our videos, be sure to click on the right-hand side of the page and subscribe to our channel. Thanks, y'all.